a lot of monsoon activity, which is maybe a little bit of a bummer, right? Look at those highs today. We had 109 in Yuma, 111 here in Phoenix. So about five degrees warmer than normal. Again, that's been the trend all throughout July. We've seen temperatures that are warmer than the daily average outside right now. It's pretty comfortable, but still a little bit warm out there. 98 degrees, the wind out of the south at about 11 miles an hour. So pretty quiet night for tonight. But yeah, earlier today, this evening, if you were joining us, we had a blowing dust advisory, and this came into our first alert Facebook page from our viewer, Mary. This is south of Maricopa, where you could see those storm clouds up there, and then that wall of dust that was building because of the showers and thunderstorms that were developing right outside of Casa Grande, kind of right where the eight meets the 10. That's where we saw a massive clump of showers and thunderstorms that kicked up the wind, sent some outflows up into Maricopa, and then that's why we saw some of that blowing dust. That advisory has since expired. Nothing really happening down there right now. Radar picking up a little bit, but none of that I don't think is making it to the ground right now. Still some activity out in eastern Arizona. This is just north of Greer and Eager, kind of right along along the Arizona and New Mexico border, but this will also kind of come to an end as we head into those overnight hours. Take a look at this video. Marsha sent this in. This is out in Eager, really pretty rain that came down earlier today there. Uh, didn't see any flooding concerns in that area, so the good news uh, in that area, eastern Arizona, we did see some rain, but not a ton of damage or any sort of storm reports that we had this evening from those showers and thunderstorms. So outside right now, we're in the 70s in Cholo, 81 in Pace and still in the 90s here in Phoenix, but also down to Gila Bend, Lake Havasu, Bullhead City at 99 right now. Again, that high today it was 111, averages 106, but take a look at that record, 121. That was our record for today. We set that back in 1995. So I want to show you this future cast model looks like the activity again that we're seeing out east right now that will so slowly start to die down overnight. We'll stick with some partly cloudy skies overnight. The big story here is that that ridge of high pressure is going to shift to the east. Drier air is going to filter in, so any storm chances will stay pretty confined to the higher terrain mountain areas of our state the next couple of afternoons. For Phoenix, it's looking like little to no monsoon activity really the next five to seven days. So dry conditions expected will hover around 110 the next few days with warmer temperatures by next weekend.